Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this updates video on what is going on across the Caribbean. And so I hope that you're all having a really great Saturday thus far. And so in this video, we'll be talking about the current rainfall pattern for the region as well as the Saharan dust forecast because it is expected to return to the region very soon. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay so let's go ahead and get into it and as we return to this infrared satellite view here off the north atlantic we can see that we have that front extended from the atlantic into the caribbean uh, and we can see that that activity is moving toward the west across the region and so that is going to be uh sort of the pattern for the next couple of days because it is being influenced by that high pressure that is located north of the Caribbean and then there is that second front in the Gulf of Mexico that exited the US and that is going to be helping to induce some rainfall across uh, the northwestern Caribbean as well. So as we take a closer look at the region, we can see that uh, we've got some activity in the vicinity of parts of the Greater Antilles, uh, including Cuba, Jamaica, uh, parts of Haiti, as well as over into the Cayman Islands. So uh, that is likely as a result of the remnants of the front that passed by. So there is some activity within that region. And then notice all that activity coming in from the east. Now that is in association with the front that uh, we just took a look at that is out into the Atlantic and uh, that is going to be continuing toward the west and helping to induce more showers across parts of the Greater Antilles as we head into the early part of the new week. So uh, for Jamaica, Hispaniola, even for Cuba as well, this is going to be streaming into the area and is likely inducing uh, shower activity. But for now, we can see that it is likely bringing rainfall to parts of the Lesser Antilles, mainly from around Guadeloupe southward. And uh, in terms of the rainfall total, let's go ahead and take a look at what the GFS and Euro have to show. Okay, so we're starting out with the Euro model here. And so uh, if you're not familiar with this map, those numbers right beside those shades over to the right side of your screen is to really see how much rainfall in inches a uh, particular area is expected to receive. And that is based on that color shading, of course. Now, this is the total accumulated precipitation between now and near the end of Monday. So as for the Euro model, we're seeing here that the most rainfall is expected in some sections of the Lesser Antilles, mainly for Guadeloupe and Dominica. But overall, we see that uh, there is a definite increase expected over in the northwestern Caribbean for Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and then, of course, into parts of Central America. But this is, of course, as I said, the accumulated precipitation. So not all expected in just the space of a day or so. So this is between now and Monday. As we go on to what the GFS model is showing here, we can see that it is not expecting as much rainfall. We're not really seeing those lilac shades, which would indicate uh, around two inches or more of rainfall activity. We're mainly seeing these greens and blues here, which uh, indicates that there will likely be maybe a bit under or over an inch of rainfall activity in total between now and near the end of Monday. And uh, uh, we can see that some areas here, such as Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and parts of the Leeward Islands aren't going to be experiencing much rainfall at all between now and then, and also for the Southern Caribbean. So unfortunately for you guys, if you've been longing for some rainfall activity, it's not likely that uh, you're going to be receiving much as we progress into the uh, early part of the new week. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the Saharan air layer forecast. And so uh, as we're going to be progressing into the early part of the new week, 
there is going to be some Saharan dust entering the southeastern Caribbean. So this is what it is expected to be later this morning. We can see that we've got that massive dust out there and where we have the uh, those darker shades of brown is where there is more of an abundance of dust within the area. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we can see that it is forecasted that we're going to have some of that dust already approaching uh, parts of northern South America, North eastern south america and that all of that is extended across the tropical atlantic to the coast of africa and then as we head into monday we can see here that the dust is expected to reach the southeastern caribbean mainly for trinidad and tobago and uh thankfully it's not a very dense mass of dust however in such a case uh there would be health concerns as it would help to induce skin and eye irritation as well as nasal congestion so uh we're not talking about a very dense mass of dust here but as we progress into the next couple of months the Saharan dust might increase in quantity especially around the early part of the hurricane season and that is what usually helps to suppress activity as those tropical waves make their way off Africa and into the tropical Atlantic so the Saharan dust is a huge inhibiting factor when it comes on to development during the hurricane season and so I want to go back to that cold front and make mention of something so as we go back to this surface chart here of the western Atlantic Atlantic. There we have that front, of course, and there we have that high, as I showed you guys earlier. But in the vicinity of Colombia, there is a low pressure area. And so due to the interaction with that high and low pressure area, there is going to be uh, some strong winds at times pulsing across parts of the eastern and central Caribbean. And so this has already begun for some areas. So you might be uh, noticing that uh, in the daytime, it is pretty windy and even going into the late evening as well however uh, those winds are likely going to be diminishing as we progress into the next couple of days so again it's that interaction of that high and low pressure areas that uh, help to induce those strong winds across the region and uh, waves are also going to be a bit more uh, rough near the Atlantic coast or for the Atlantic coast of the northeastern Caribbean and also for the lesser Antilles so that is all that is currently taken place across the uh, Caribbean right now and as we are going to be uh, progressing into tomorrow of course I'm going to be doing my third weekly countdown video to the official start of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season so we'll be taking a look at different factors that influence the hurricane season as well as that ENSO which is quite major when it comes on to uh, predictions and what the season is likely to be so we're going to be taking a look at all of that tomorrow and of course that's pretty pretty much it for this update video guys and so i hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise